Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to Borderlands 2. If you remember in the last episode, we had just made it to Sanctuary. Fight back. Join the resistance. And I just gave us a new talent point in Foresight, so we got even more reload speed. So let's go turn in some missions, or the one mission that we have. Speak to the town maniac. I know it says mechanic, but he is also a maniac. A maniac on the floor. Sanctuary, built on the ruins of the Doll Corporation's finest enterprise. Yeah, shut up. It's Scooter. Oh crap! Is it that Perry? I heard all of you robots and you eat metal out the garbage and stuff. Knew you wired death machines be come for me once Roland went missing. Now, if you're here to kill me, you should probably know. <laughs> You'll never take me alive, you robotic son of a bitch! Oh hell. I'd be scared if I was a robot. Wait a minute. Huh? Well, hang me upside down from a telephone pole, cover me in honey, and lead me to a slow death at the hands of a hungry spider ants. Uh -huh. You ain't no Hyperion robot. You're a vile hunter, huh? That's like a unicorn. Well, no, Butt Stallion's a unicorn, I think. Wait, can we? Nope. No, we can't. Hey there, Scooter. Now, you gonna help us out with this Roland situation? I heard them Crimson Raider dudes talking about it. Roland told me if you ever disappeared, I was supposed to initiate Plan B. Or as I like to call it, Plan Turn This City into a floating ass fortress of airborne awesomeness. Ha <laughs> ha! B. I, I got some fuel cells around here. You'll need those. Oh, and you'll need this uh, iridium here, too. Don't mind if I do. Thanks. So wait, the fuel- oh wait, the fuel cells are here. A nice little retrieval quest to start off. Wow, I wonder how I will get there. Oh wait, this isn't Dishonored, I can't climb ledges, shit. It's gonna get- it's gonna take some getting used to between games, uh, for the controls. Well, first off, while I'm here, why don't I just loot all these coffers? Could get some good bullets. Well, let's head to center of town and plug those two fuel cells into the ignition primers. You're gonna need a third, which is why I gave you that here red rock. Uh, you can buy the last sale from Earl's Black Market. Careful though, Earl's crazy. He ate one of my cars once. Yeah, the whole car. Just like with a fork. Alright, let's go find this guy. I wanna talk to the man who ate a car with a fork. I wonder if he used a plate. Looks like we're safe for now. Yeah, for now. Bandits of Sanctuary. Yes. I hear a new vault hunter has arrived in your city, so just turn him into me and you'll be rewarded. Don't worry, nobody's gonna turn you in. The You're our only hope of stopping Jack. Thank you, Doomsayer. I missed what uh, Captain Whatever said. So much so that I even missed what his name was. Uh, right, we gotta find Earl. E. Arl. I'm gonna pick up all those missions later, but right now I just want to get this thing out of the way. Hello? You... Damn. Alright, let's go to the first fuel cell. Do things in order. Like we're supposed to. I don't know, I'm making a big deal out of it. It's not really that hard. Roland said we gotta have an exit strategy just in case you ever disappeared and sell fuel cells and whatnot. Uh, bummer though. They really wanted to meet you. Raiders ain't gonna last without some new blood, and given how you shot them bandits up, I'd say you and blood got an extra special relationship. Like cousins taking a bath together. <laughs> oh. This the scooter guy's really an interesting fellow. Really something. Okay, now we could go find Earl. Hello, knock knock. What you want? Just buy something, and I'll toss in this crap fuel cell. <laughs> Just touching it made two of my fingers rot off. I only accept iridium. Cash is for clowns, boy. Okay, nice band aid. You better stay gone. Why don't you just like, oh, buy something from him? <laughs> well, let's see. Here we could get a storage deck upgrade, which seems to be coming in handy. Oh no, this is the one we need. My backpack, so I could carry more stuff without throwing them in the lake. Alright. So yeah, the black market sells permanent upgrades for Iridium. Out of my fight, 
Yeah, okay, let me get away from here. And... Yeah, let's just continue on with this mission before I... Accept more crap. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go on with it. I don't think this is gonna start a new mission beforehand. Right, thanks for grabbing all that stuff for me. Third degree burns are best taken in shifts. Now, to see the fruits of your loins, this city's gonna burn! Oh. Okay. I'm ready. Is this the thing that's gonna fly us out? Or not. Damn. Disappointing. Well, now we really gotta find Roland. You know what? Maybe get to Roland's place. I think he might have left a message there for you. Alright. What's happening here? Oh, we're getting shot by moon blasts. Uh huh. Looks like they're not busy with anything else at all. All right, let's go to this end of mission thing. Never got stationed anywhere this nice in the land. Uh. This isn't too nice. Get in. Roland left a message for you. Wait, who? Oh, you. Yes. Now that you're here, I know we're gonna beat Hyperion. Oh, uh, thanks for the confidence, man. Thank you for the confidence. No pressure. Oh hey, it's this lady. Search Roland's command center. Now that you've made it into Roland's headquarters, you should look around in his quarter quarters. For some quarters. Hey soldier, if you're hearing this, I'm in trouble. Right now you're the only thing standing between this city, hell, the whole planet, and Handsome Jack's army. I left info about my whereabouts in my safe. You can use it to store anything you need. This is your home now. Good luck. Lucky me. And an echo recorder. Well, no. I'm gonna put that in the empty slot. This is the Firehawk. Come to Frostbreak Head. Yeah, yeah, you discovered a safe. Your people will die. Okay. Indeed, I can't wait to meet this Firehawk. He's been captured by the Firehawk. He's in danger. You're the only one who can stop Jack, but Roland is the man with the plan, so to speak. He knows the best way to strike at Hyperion. Absolutely, but first things first, right? Let's make some money. So what do I have here? I have the Unkempt Herald, and the Sniper, and another slot. Well, that other slot is going to be filled with an explosive gun. And we'll just see here what else I can use here. Here, here. Alright, everything else to the trash. Except for this. Recharge rate, recharge delay. Well, not much else that I could do. Wait a second. Aren't I forgetting something? No, no. <laughs> not at all. Okay, so let's go pick up these other missions because a lot of them are going to be on our way to Roland and the Firehawk. So first things first, Claptrap. He's got something for us. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks. You helped me reach Sanctuary, Minion, and for that, you deserve a reward. I have a secret stash hidden very, very far away from where I currently am. In order to find it, you have to perform a series of devious challenges. First, collect a few brown rocks for me. Then, defeat a badass skag. Then, pilfer the lost staff of Mount Schuler. Then, you shall bring me the head of the Destroyer of Worlds. And then, you shall dance for my enjoyment. <laughs> hmm. Let me just go here, because this is where my mission is saying to go. Oh, Claptrap Super Secret Stash. And, uh, looks like the hiding space for my super 
his stash just fell apart, leaving it completely exposed. So, congratulations! You successfully subverted my meticulously planned challenges. Why don't you go check out the stash? Uh. Even though you didn't bring me what I asked for, I decided to let you use that stash to share weapons between my minions. Specifically, the ones that, um, that you control. Look, it's for twinking items between your characters. Well, thanks for breaking the fourth wall, Claptrap. That was real nice of you. So really, it's just like the storage safe in Roland's room, except this one could go between characters. However, it's going to be very useless for us right now. And I don't plan on playing on my main character anytime soon, so it's not like we're going to get anything for this character. Ooh, hello. Okay. I'm starving! I want to eat your babies! Son, this might sting a bit. Well, that guy's teeth look pretty bad. However, his attitude is way worse. And Dr. Zed's here. Hello. Hey, I got a perfectly legal and not shady job for you. Hey, Roland's boys caught this Hyperion jerk bag trying to sneak into the Oh, city. good. Looks like they messed up his lungs. Did a surgery bad. Get over here. You're gonna be my operating assistant. All right, what do you need? All right, make a small incision just below his sternum. But be careful, we don't want to nick the coronary artery. Well, just below the sternum, right? With my bayonet? No problem. And... Oh, there we go. Close enough. Alright, that was gross. Ooh. How many times I tell you idiots, you can't get swag powers by swallowing this stuff. Well, that shard ain't no good in the black market. It didn't refine yet. You could probably take it to that Tannis lady on the other side of town. She's real into that iridium stuff. And she ain't acting all hoity-toity because she's got a real doctorate. Oh, and let me know if you're looking for work. I got stuff needs doing. Hey, yeah, of course. What do you got? Finish with that job. Oh. Let's do this first and talk to Tannis. She's just as crazy, except, you know. Nah, she's just as crazy. L never mind. I was gonna say she's a little more legitimate, but not at all. What are we waiting for? Let's go after Jack! Oh yeah, you go after those moonshots that are flying at us in the sky. Good luck. I'll stay right here. Bye. Alright, so we got Dr. Tanner in the corner there, but let's just take some loot. Would you uh As I've said, damn. Roland, now that Jack has the vault key, it is only a matter of time until he opens the vault. Also. I require a new ventilator. This lab smells of bacon. Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest. Well, that was a little harsh. Insanely smart. So, we're just gonna steal the money that's left behind. I don't know whose it is, but thanks to whoever left that. And in the washing machines, because that's where you get all the coolest bullets. And grenades, and shotgun shells, and... Well, shotgun shells are bullets too, I suppose. Anything else that I didn't pilfer? No? Alright. And I think I can't open this yet. Correct. Alright. Hey, you, Tanner. After hours of scientific insanity, you could only imagine in your dreams or in my bed standing over, I have deduced that Jack, the Vault Key, and the Iridium are all connected on a deeper level. Okay. Huh. She's got a standing offer for me to be in her bed, but I want nothing to do with her, because I want to keep my bits after we're done. So we got to take the Iridium Shard to her, and what are you going to do? I'm going to swallow it up and spit out a bar? Oh, okay. So we got to go back. We got to go... Stop. So that Dr. Zed guy is going to give us a lot of missions where we're going to have to kill animals and get parts of this and that. It's pretty funny, I find. You need cash? I need things I don't so. want to talk about. <laughs> what can create a bullet hole but isn't a bullet? Any guesses? I got none. You know what can make a bullet hole that ain't a bullet? Because I friggin' don't. 
I've been seeing some confusing wounds coming from the <laughs> Nice and cross-eyed now. Head down there and find out what kind of weapons causing them. An old rival of mine named Doc Mercy's using it. And don't let that name fool you. Unlike me, he's more interested in creating wounds and patching them up. Also, unlike me, he actually has a medical license. Well, that's reassuring. The guy who has a medical license is a piece of shit, and the guy who doesn't is our savior, I guess. Well, he sure is on our side, that's for sure. Surely. Okay, so this reduces my max health. We got... You got nothing good. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. This reduces my max health. You know what? Go away. I want nothing that you're selling. I want nothing to do with you. Alright, so we're gonna run through town, picking up some quests. I might cut this part out if it's too boring, but... Gives you a good idea of what we're doing and why we're doing it. So, Roland needs my help. As, again. This is a recorded message to any Crimson Raiders in the area. Sanctuary has been targeted by four Hyperion spies masquerading as bandits. They're hiding out in Three Horns. Find them, kill them, and see if you can figure out why they're here. Oh yeah, that's a fun mission to do at low level. It's one of the tougher missions to do, actually, at the beginning of the game. Because I don't have that many talents and I don't have... Very good guns. Hey, what's down this alleyway? I don't remember too much about this place. Is that a... Ooh. Cult of the Vault. Discovered. So you can find those things hidden around the game. They're like the, the Koroks of Breath of the Wild, for those of you who have never played this game but have only played Breath of the Wild. I... Don't know. I'm sure a lot of people have played this game. Yes? You play the most important role in the events to come. Try not. Well, I'll try. No promises. Hey, Marcus in the reality. Could I have refund in the real. This? this gun doesn't seem to work. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like it works to me. Okay. No refunds. All right, you can't do that. It doesn't work. I only have one question to ask of all of you. One question. Just a few years ago, we were enemies. But that time has passed. As glad as I am to see you all in Sanctuary, I know you wouldn't have come if you had any other option. I know how bad things are out there. I know how Jack's army has swept across this planet like a sandstorm, ripping apart everything in its way. When I joined the Crimson Lance years ago, they told me I'd be fighting to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Ugh, this is so inspiring. Yawn. Hey Marcus, you got anything interesting? I've got an opportunity If we don't band together, Ugh, it just doesn't stop. If we can't this city from Jack's army, then we're done for. I am Roland, and I only have one question to ask. Are you with me? Man, I'm surprised they stayed to, like, cheer. I would have been gone already. Wow. Well, probably wouldn't. Probably be dead by now. Anyway. Hey, I got a job for you. Rock, paper, genocide, fire weapons. You know what's better than killing someone with bullets? Killing someone with bullets that are on fire. Well. Okay. Hey, Vault Hunter. Yo. If you're gonna be a part of the Crimson Raiders, you better know how to use your elemental Hey, weapons. Vault Hunter. I got the hand gestures I when I talk. Spanking new Malawan elemental weapons. Wanna help me test them out? Well, I'll see you in the firing range. Let's try out the fire weapons. For yeah. Fire weapons are extremely effective against flesh, but they're crap at destroying shields. Go to hell, bandit! So do I have it? Now burn that imperialist bastard like a skag steak. Do I have a fire weapon of sorts? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that didn't do anything. So I've got... Oh, this. Okay, it works. Hmm. Where? Here? Boring. Ooh, sick burn. Alright. This Hyperion fascist thinks he's safe because he's got... Take that, Jack lover! Yeah. A few good. Hmm. Now, what else? So corrosive against armor, armor targets. Like 
Hyperion robots can take a lot yeah, of yeah. damage. Now let's try out the new slag, and then we'll use the explosive weapon. Now that he's slag, he should be easy enough to finish off. Switch to another weapon and hit him. Oh, we're done. Okay. Finish that job yet? Great. The weapons work. If you want to purchase any element. Weapons like these, you could always buy some from your friendly neighborhood arms. Oh my god, he's so loud I didn't even have to use the echo recorder to hear him. As was walking out. He's just the worst. I don't like him at all. He's kind of a two-faced, like well, he's an arms dealer, right? So he kinda of sells to everybody. Us and our enemies. I don't want to say bad guys, good guys, because we're all pretty awful people. I have money and oh, good. Well, I could take both off your hands. Bully mon. Rubbish name, isn't it? But I'd like a better one before my almanac goes to print. Search some bully mon bone pies, will you? I'll learn something about their diets and come up with a catchier name for the beasts. Okay. And here's Moxie or Roxy. Stop doing that. Have some respect for yourself. I don't have any work. Well, I don't want to. If you don't got any work, it means you don't have any money, and that means I don't want to be here. I ain't here to drink. So we'll do one mission before I call this episode off. I'll call this episode off. Call this episode an episode, because we haven't done shit today other than talk to people and pick up missions. And there's going to be a lot of that in this game, unfortunately. Wait, you know what? There's teleports in this game. I keep forgetting that. What do you think, man? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Alright, let's just go. Two. Well, that's the one. Alright, so the name game. It's gonna be the easiest one, I think. Or the easiest one. The quickest one to do. The simple reason that it's right here. Yeah. What else do I have that's, like, close by? Okay. Southpaw thing. Alright, these are all going to be when we go find Roland. Because it's in the same area as that shit. Ah, uh, nice and quiet. <laughs> Excuse me, except for that burp. Nice quiet hunting ground. To just, you know, not screw up in. Oh, wow. Right in the neck. Okay. So I think as long as I can kill them, we're fine with like kill them with guns, that is. And then I gotta search through their shit piles. The frozen shit piles, I might add. Bye. Yeah. Ah shit. You know what? I'm gonna just use the explosive gun. It did nothing. Okay, that did something. So we're a third of the way done. No, wait, we're a third of the way done killing them. Now we gotta look through their poop piles. Alrighty. Anyone wanna cue some Benny Hill music while I'm doing this? We really need an editor on this channel, because so far it's really tough to just do this Jake and I. Especially I got like, what, Windows Movie Maker as my editing software. It's quite sad. Alright. Hopefully there's no more for now. Uh, well. They are here, but are they coming towards me? Oh, sure, why not? Alright. So I got three piles down. Cool. Let me go use a car, because I forgot we, we have access to that. And if I'm not mistaken, there are more bully mons right there. Actually, right here-ish. So, I don't know why I'm running around like a maniac. Really, I don't even have to go too far. It's in my own backyard. Hello? Hi! Hi, I'm Sierra. Nice to me- Ah! Ugh. Awful. Well, that was my fault for fucking around. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for giving me a boost to get the hell out of here. 
I really needed that. Okay, good. Good. Wait, that's what this guy that was fighting these dudes was using. Um, I don't know why he didn't do so well. This is, like, overpowered. Ah! Except... Okay, no, they're pretty weak to that. I mean, they're being hit with explosive bullets. There's not... Not much you can do. It seems bully mongs use those bounds to dispose of their refuse. That suggests a primate level intelligence. That's it! I shall call them primal beasts. I'll run it by my publishers. In the meantime, blow up some primal beasts with grenades, would you? See how the new name works for you. Okay. Well, fine. It's a good thing we have that one... Oh wait, I don't have to search their piles anymore. Okay. It's a good thing we have that one grenade that actually like kills them in one shot. And I think... Yeah, they're right here. It's fine. Shit. Oh, I got two. I've ever seen, and I say that having watched a thresher rip my arm from its socket. Repressed memories, oh! Uh. Anyway, take the new name for a spin. Shoot some of the Ferro Rolls projectiles out of the air. See how that name thrills you. Okay, how many? Three? Oh, we're fine. Could you? One. Two. Three. Hey, did. Bloody awesome. Balls. <laughs> Eat that bona fide. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Oh, more. I hope there are more. My good lord. Eats peanut butter all day with the jelly in his hands. That should be the lyrics to some to a Beck song. To some Beck songs. <laughs> I think it is, maybe. I don't know. Might just be exaggerating, but pretty close. I like that one album from him, I think. No, wait. Not one album. What's that one with Loser and Truck Driving Neighbors? It's on the same album, but if you haven't heard Truck Driving Neighbors by Beck, you really should check it out, because it's hilarious. And I do wonder, though, if I'm gonna find more bully mongs. Another thing I've noticed is that when you run long enough, your character starts to like lose their breath. Oh yeah, I don't know if you remember, but I changed the color of my catch a ride car. I think there's more of these assholes here. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna quickly just mow them all down. Alright. And four. One more, right? Yeah, there you go. Bye, dude. My publisher says I can't call them bona fides. Ah, <sighs> bully mom's not so bad. Come on back. All right, so I'm just gonna go back to here and, you know. Awesome. All right. I want to thank you all very much for watching. As usual, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and this channel, and there's going to be more to come soon, as usual.